hey thanks for hanging out with us again today we got something really cool to talk about and to show you guys today um first i want to tell you uh we got this customer named rocky he lives in texas and uh he started out buying lots of plastic from us and he's really over the transactions he's really grown into a pretty good friend and uh he messages me and says uh hey buddy yeah uh, do you have uh frog mold and I was like nope we ain't got a frog mold and he said I'm gonna buy you that frog mold and uh, that way you can make me some frogs so thanks to him we got a brand new frog mold from angling AI that we are gonna shoot today and uh, then we'll have frogs available on our website and uh, thanks to Rocky you can all thank him. We're gonna have some awesome frogs for this springtime. And today we're gonna, um, I'm gonna go over the mold and then uh, we're gonna do one of our uh, custom uh, colors in it that I think would look awesome. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get right into this. Let's check it out. All right, I wanna, let's check this mold out here. Here is the awesome can you see them both? What am I doing here? Okay. Here is the frog mold. This one's a two cavity. Angling AI also has the three cavity and four cavity available. Now let's check it this out. You can see on the bottom cavity here, this is the belly of it. You can see it's got this real nice hook slot in here. And like almost like a grub tail. These things really flutter in the water. And then extra little weight in the thigh area of the frog here these are a sweet sweet frog and then this is the top mold you can see it's got all the little bumps for the top of the mold there Whoop. for the top of the mold there you got little eyes very very nice mold of course angling AI always puts out wonderful molds yeah so we're gonna get some plastic in and uh, we'll get the recipe going and we're gonna shoot this thing such a cool mold man such a cool mold i'm real excited about this one all right this is the stuff we're gonna be using awesome color some dead on kiwi and we got some 025 dead on earth flake and some large hex flake you can't really see the label anymore from lower works and then on the belly we're going to do some dead on snow shine with some little bit of white and some dead on night flake and that's the whole recipe we'll put it on the screen so you can follow along if you want to star of the show hard to see really it's that this is the kiwi for the top all right we'll get those in the gas chamber vacuum chamber suck all them bubbles up and we'll be right back when we're ready now remember when you do laminates both sides should be the same consistency and the same temperature And these are about 300, about 320. Here's our bottom color. And here's our beautiful kiwi top color. All right, got the dual ready. Let's shoot our first one. Suck it up nice and even, nice and slow. Purge it a little bit so you don't get no bubbles. And then make sure it's set right. Nice even pressure. Hold it for a few minutes or a few seconds. 
a lot of pressure not a lot of pressure but firm pressure and then we'll top off that screw and there we go and squirt out the excess always wear your gloves safety's first all the time put that over there get these out of our way for a moment there you have it all right let's check out this blending bar this is always cool of course they won't come together ah, get in there that kiwi is such a cool color it actually changes from like a brown to a, a green but this is what we're working with that gives you an idea of how they're going to look together we'll put those in there to remount for the next run put this back together now let's clean these out Then we'll put these back in the mic. All right, these should be cool enough to check out. Let's, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ready? Look at that. Boom. Look at that, huh? Is that a cool color or what? Okay. Oh, oh, such an awesome frog, such an awesome frog color, and an awesome frog mold, look at that, huh, see how the legs got like extra thickness in there, these things kick like crazy, very cool, huh, very, very cool, well, we're gonna, set these over here to hang and uh we're gonna put this back together and we're just gonna shoot some of these and get rid of the rest of that um cup that we have ready so uh hang out while we get all these shooting All right, here's the last one. I don't think we can get another full run out of uh, what's left in the cups. And look at that, just as awesome as the first. Very cool. Here's a tip. This is in order how we put what we just poured. Now anyone who pours plastic knows that reheating white, a lot of times it will start yellowing. And you see my last one, the white, is just as good as the first one. The trick to that is make sure you always heat in small increments. Don't ever try to rush it and just bring it up to the temp that you need to pour. You don't have to get any hotter than what you need to get it to flow through the injector. And that's, you'll get really good results that way. 
Because I just reheated this one, two, three, four, five times continuously. The same white. And it never yellowed. On the last one. Just like it looks on the first one. Just a little tip. Alright, there's a nice little spread of froggies. I, let's check these out. Look at that. I think that looks like a pretty good frog. Such a cool mold. See a little mohawk thing? I'm going to explain what that means. And their design. Very cool. Now, if you look at this picture, this shows how Angling AI uh, recommends rigging it. So we're gonna do it, we're gonna rig it up that way and show you how we rig them. And, uh, um, but you can always do alternative ways. They make a great, for a, on a jig trailer, they, they'd be awesome too. And uh, you can use the traditional double hook, you know, worm hooks with a screw lock or something you know there's other ways to do it but this is one way so this is what they show and you just Texas rig it like any other Texas rig right through the nose this is just an EWG we got here I think it's a 3 yacht. Um, I'd probably want to go bigger but I did just didn't have one okay so you got that through and then run it up through that hook slot, right? And then when you put it right through where that mohawk is, see that? Can you see that? See, it's through that hawk. Okay, well, now look, you can expose that, and now your frog is weedless. See that? And then when the fish bites a hold of it it's got such a deep hook so that when a fish bites it boom it pops up that much i don't know maybe this three out would be good but it pop it see check that out isn't that an awesome design man that little mohawk on there is everything turns this frog into weedless which is what you want with a frog right look at that hooks in it see that now it's weedless. Look, run your finger right over that hook. That won't catch on nothing. And it, then when a fish grabs it, pops right out easy. That is awesome, awesome design. Very cool. But like I said, you know, there's other ways you can rig this too. And I know. But any way you do it, these things are awesome man they will be your new favorite frog all right there you have it another awesome mold from angling ai poured with our preferred manufacturer dead on plastics but look for uh frogs coming up in our in our shop soon all the links will be in the uh description and uh special thank you to rocky and uh our buddy in Texas. Thank you, brother. And uh, let me know when you want some of them frogs. And as always, like and share the video and help us out on these subs, man. Let's uh, help us grow this page up a little bit. But uh, till next time, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.